Welcome to a Chun TV chili pepper tasting where we have a pod from Bohica Pepper Hut. Uh, who I will put a link in the description to their site where you can buy some pretty insanely looking uh, pods. This is a yellow M.A. Wartrix, originally grown by or, or bred by uh, Matthew Arthur. Um, it's a big old honking pod too. Look at that thing. Ooh. And uh, I've cooked with M.A. Wartrix, but I haven't eaten one. Um, I... The, the the one I had was red, but it had a really, I thought, a really cool kind of citrusy uh, flavor, and I ended up using it in a pepper jelly that I made, and it, it turned out pretty good. Um, so I'm really excited to taste one fresh, because I think it's going to be a really, really nice flavor. <clears throat> and this one, you see, it's 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 a really crazy UFO-like shape. It's not some, I don't think there's any other pepper that looks quite like this. And it's a little bumpy, not super bumpy, but it has got those some of those menacing little bumps and crags and things. All right, take the top off, mostly successfully, and cut this guy down the middle. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Hmm. Oh, it, smell, it smells a little too innocent. Let me get a look at the inside of this pod. A big old honking chunk of membrane. Um, really cool shape. Pretty thin walls. Um, there's a little bit of visible oil inside. Um, a lot of, lot of seeds. Good lord. It's, it's such a neutral aroma. It, it smells a little bit lemony, I think. A little bit citrusy. Uh, it smells a little bit like an ahi pepper, but it's very unassuming. Like it doesn't, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't smell high, and <clears throat> that just scares me more than anything. It's actually scarier then it's smelling really scary in some way. It just kind of, I don't know, it makes me think I'm in for it, but it's just not, not letting me know that ahead of time. But yeah, um, but yeah, it's like a nice, relatively neutral, but nice citrusy, kind of fresh, bright aroma. Yellow M.A. Wartrix from Bohica Pepper. Cheers, YouTube. <laughs> it's not a great tasting pepper. It's pretty bitter. Um, almost no flavor to speak of other than bitterness. This is kind of the problem with super hots for the most part. I don't want to be like the problem with super hots and some kind of big old sweeping statement, but like ghost peppers notwithstanding, ghost peppers are delicious. I find reapers to be pretty delicious. The red Wartrix in things was really delicious, but it had help too. Um, this one by itself, ooh, it's, it's, ooh, ooh, ooh. it's an interesting burn. It's a kind of an unusual sensation. It's a little bit stingy, but it's more of like a radiating heat. Uh, coal in your mouth sensation. It was building pretty good. Um, yeah, it's building a lot actually. It, um, it mostly just tastes better. I'm a little disappointed because I was kind of excited to taste this one because I was hoping it would be like um, my favorite pods are fruity pods. Um, it was definitely not like the, the aroma was was kind of neither here nor there, but a little bit citrusy. The flavor is really just bitterness, and it comes from peppers that are bred to have. A huge amount of this membrane, a huge amount of um, seeds to create heat. And it, it tends to kind of take away from the flavor because you eat them and you just get this bitterness. The heat is like in the front of my mouth mostly. And it's kind of prodding at my sinuses a little bit. Um, like I said, it's not really stinging. It's like a, a hot coal kind of like a deeper burn sensation but it's it's actually surprisingly manageable it's not that bad um 
I'm waiting for the shoe to drop. Sometimes these things take a little bit. But the tongue, it's like a slight prickling pins and needles sensation on my tongue, in my jowls. Uh, the front of my mouth, my goes is hurting a fair bit. Oh, um, yeah, it's uh, did it peak? Did it go ahead and peak? Yeah, huh? Um, okay, so not much to speak of in the aroma. Not much to speak of in the flavor, other than bitterness. A little bit of an interesting bird. Uh, peaked very quickly, unless it's going to come back on again. But I don't think it is. I think it's done. Mm, it's already starting to come back down a little bit. And uh, huh, yeah. So if this pepper was a sound, it would be yeah, um, because it just kind of uh, let me down a little bit. Um, the burn was enjoyable. It's a pretty good little burn, but. Uh, I kind of expected more in the department of flavor and aroma. And that's kind of like the best part about chilies, eating fresh chilies, is kind of you get these really intense, really unique aromas, these really interesting flavors. And I don't feel like I got that um, from this. I feel like what I got was a, a, a pretty, pretty hot uh, pepper. Really, very hot. <clears throat> I believe this sits at about 1 to 1 1.2 million Scoville. Um, but just. Not interesting enough to warrant uh, the amount of pain that you experience, which, which, you know, if you're going just for heat too, there are other, I would say a ghost pepper is probably harder to put up with than this uh, to get through. And a ghost pepper is going to give you really amazing, delicious uh, pepper flavor. This in the hand, I don't know. Um, I can't think of anything about it that was particularly enjoyable. Um, but that being said, even the missteps bring us one step closer to jelly alignment. You know, uh, so if nothing else, we can cross M.A. Wartrix Yellow off the bucket list of uh, pies that we need to eat. Because it was one I was really excited about. But at the end of the day, uh, well, it's not going. At the end of the day, it wasn't super interesting. Um, it was hot, very hot, but not super, super, super hot. Not very flavorful, not very aromatic. Very pretty, though. It is a pretty pepper. I like that. It's very cool. But uh, yeah, a little bit of a letdown. So, yeah. Uh, well, thanks for watching, you know, this uh, chili pepper tasting. We venture out into the great chili unknown on the regular uh, to seek out uh, new spicy experiences and the elusive uh, state of chili enlightenment. New hot sauce reviews, uh, we do spicy challenges here and there sometimes, and uh, many other things besides. So, yeah, click subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, click the bell. You'll be notified every time we explore uh, a new facet of the capsaicin universe. And uh, click like if you enjoyed this pepper tasting video. And I will catch you next time.